Hey all, welcome to Shadrack. Friends, today I want to talk to you about a company called Excision Biotherapeutics. We haven't heard about this company because Excision Biotherapeutics is a private company focused on developing advanced gene editing therapeutics to address a medical need for the treatment of life-threatening disease caused by viral infections. They develop gene editing medicines uh, that eradicate or disrupt viral genes in human patients. Uh, so far, it sounds similar to other genomic companies that we uh, keep track of. The only difference is that the other genomic companies we keep track of are, are uh, uh, quoted in the stock exchange, whereas uh, Excision is a private uh, company, and that's the reason why they didn't come to our attention before. So let's get started with um, uh, taking a closer look at Excision Bio. Welcome back, friends. Uh, Excision Biotherapeutics was founded in 2015 by Thomas Malcolm, uh, uh, Kamal Khalili, uh, Rob Simmons, and David Rowe. Uh, they have a kind of connection to Temple University. The company is headquartered in uh, Philadelphia and has raised $70.8 in funding over seven rounds through 22 investors. Around the end of 2017, they acquired their uh, CRISPR-Cas9 IP from uh, UC Berkeley. In addition, the company has licensed the viral gene editing technology from Temple University for commercial development and clinical trials. Now, more about uh, EBT101, which is their uh, first and only therapy, uh, which is in their pipeline. Uh, let me first talk about the subject matter of this uh, particular therapy, which is HIV, uh, and uh, give you a brief background why this is important. Uh, HIV hides from the body's immune system in a group of immune cells called CD4 lymphocytes, also known as the HIV reservoir. While HIV is latent in the reservoir, meaning it doesn't replicate, uh, it can wake up and cause viral load to increase and making a cure elusive in the patient. And because HIV mutates rapidly, it's extremely challenging to develop a single vaccine to target all the strains and mutations. Uh, also, HIV is unique in how it hides from the immune system. So even if you eradicate the circulating virus, the hidden HIV can spread from uh, the infection that's already there and uh, continue to mutate and uh, evade any, uh, any further cure. Now let us look at the approach used by Excision Bio. And the approach that uh, Excision Bio used is uh, a dual uh, guide RNA to snip large sections of viral DNA to neutralize viruses. This approach is ideal to tackle the HIV virus. A therapy developed using this technique can potentially address long-standing unmet needs of individuals living with HIV AIDS by remo removing viral DNA from their cells, thereby eradicating infection. Just imagine huge chunks of uh, HIV uh, virus being uh, cut off and deactivated so regardless of the mutation, there is a greater chance of eradicating HIV this way. Today we hear more about Excision Bio because their EBT-101 therapy targeting AIDS has dosed the first human patient. The first patient to receive a single dose of EBT-101 uh, in the current trial is currently under medical supervision and will soon be assessed to see if there is any viral rebound and whether the single curative treatment worked as planned. This will be a deciding factor in whether or not that patient is able to stop their current antiretroviral therapy uh, going forward. The FDA clinical study will consist of nine participants, the first of whom has just been dosed. The study started on January 24, 2022 and obviously it took time to enroll volunteers uh, to participate as subjects in the clinical trial. The estimated completion date for the clinical trial is December 2024 and by March 2025, the study should be completed. It seems that there will be three levels, uh, three dose levels administered on three cohorts, and the primary objective is to test the safety and tolerability of EBT-101 over 48 weeks. That, my friends, uh, seems to be the progress so far with uh, Excision Bio. Uh, this is a new company that we have come across, and of course, uh, curing AIDS is the prized objective of many organizations, and uh, uh, Excision seems to have a promising therapy in the pipeline. Let's hope that the clinical trials give desired results and uh, Excision is able uh, to help humanity cure AIDS and uh, get rid of this scourge. So with that said, my friends, I'd like to bring this uh, video to an end. Uh, please let me know what you think, so I think about this video by putting comments below. And also, if you like this video, please do not hesitate to press a like there because it helps YouTube promote our video to like-minded people who are interested in genomics. And also, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and help us grow this channel.
Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.